In this video, I'm going to talk through my top five forgiving irons for mid to high handicap golfers of 2023. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, that's right, today I have my top five forgiving irons for mid to high handicap golfers. Everyone, just a real quick one, if you do enjoy these videos, please take two seconds, hit that subscribe button below. We are so close to a quarter of a million subscribers. That for me is absolutely mind blowing. Guys, nearly 60% of people who watch these videos are not yet subscribed. If you do not want to miss the daily content that I provide you, please hit that subscribe button below. It would mean the world to me. Can't wait to get to a quarter of a million subscribers. I really hope you're gonna be a part of it. Now let's get back to my top five forgiving irons. Remember guys, comment below, what are your top five irons of 2023? Now this video is always a really fun one for me because I get to talk through what clubs I think could help you improve your game this year. Now, if you want irons that are more forgiving, if you want irons that can help you lower your scores whilst not really having to put in the work, these could be a great place to start. Guys, in at number five, I have the Tacomo 101 irons. These things have been around for quite some time now. Each club in this top five has a reason why it's in there. It might be price, it might be looks, it might be performance, it might be everything. And these pretty much tick almost every box. They come in quite a lot cheaper than the major brands such as Titleist, TaylorMade, Ping, Callaway, and Mizuno. They also perform pretty darn well. They look absolutely gorgeous and they are jam-packed full of technology. You see, I'm a huge fan of Tacomo's mission of bringing people brand new golf clubs for a bit more of a budget price. I'm also a huge fan of something that generally goes a long way, looks almost like a blade and feels like that. These things never fail to surprise me. That's a green in regulation and it's a green in regulation for probably half the price of some of the other clubs that are in this top five. They could probably be higher, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know what? You know what? My plan wasn't to hit too many balls in this video, but I enjoyed that that much. These aren't the 101 tees either. The 101 tees probably more suited to the mid to low handicaps, but these are the OG irons when it comes to... Oh, that's all over it. Just get left. This is why I've hit another one, really. Oh, pin high, but right. The 101s are the OGs, the initial irons that Tacoma ever released. I think I was one of the first people ever to review these, and the feedback I've had off everyone else has been really good. So they are number five of my top five forgiving irons. Now, one thing I must say is if they're in at number five, make sure you stay tuned for four, three, two, and even one. Number one may well surprise you. Remember guys, these are my mid to high handicap. I'm going to do this for beginners. I'm going to do this for mid to low handicaps. And if you want to see my top five blades of 2023, get in the comments below because they're all pretty much the same. It's basically going to be a beauty pageant for golf clubs. And feels like that. Okay, so next up in my top five forgiving irons for mid to high handicap golfers in 2023, in at number four is an iron which has never ever been in my top five before, but they've changed something this year, which I think is not revolutionary, but a huge reason as to why more golfers will try these irons. There's also one huge reason why a lot of golfers, unfortunately, will never try these irons. You see, of all my time teaching high handicap golfers, fitting high handicap golfers for golf clubs, and playing golf with high handicap golfers in pro-ams, I've always seen golfers who want really nice, big, forgiving long irons to help get the ball airborne. But as you move down progressively through the set, you maybe want something a little bit better looking, a little bit sexier down at the ball. Even though you're a mid to high handicap golfer, you still want to look down and think, oh yeah, Yes, please, I'll hit that pitching wedge beautifully. Enter the brand new Shrixen ZX Mark II irons. Particularly, I have here the ZX4, which I think is a perfect iron for high handicap golfers. But the big thing Shrixen have done here is make them so you can split your set entirely how you want to. So you can have the ZX4 like here with the massive thick top line, plenty of offset, loads of blade length, and you really don't feel like you have to put as good a swing on it. Oh, did I mention the feel? Absolutely glorious as well. Now, I couldn't tell you where that, that's gone miles as well. I couldn't tell you where that came out of on the face. I can tell you now with a little bit of feedback on there, it was toey, but you don't really get that much feedback. Now, that's okay when it comes to a forgiving iron, 
But if you then went ZX5 in maybe your 8-iron and 9-iron, and even ZX7 in your pitching wedge if you really wanted to, you get that progressiveness, but you also get that massive element of forgiveness through the top end of the bag where you need it. These are jam-packed full of technology. I will put links to all of my reviews of these in the description below. And they even have a forged face, which means you're gonna get... Look at that for a ball flight. Be good. This could go in that field. Okay, okay, so we've got number five, we've got number four, we've got Tacoma, we've got Shrixen. Where are the big brands? Where are the, the big five, the Taylor Days, the Callaways, the Titleist, the, you know the rest. Well, enter said big brand now. This is one of them, guys. This is probably one of the biggest brands on the market, and it is in at number three, the brand new Callaway Paradigm Irons. Now, this isn't the Callaway Paradigm X Irons. For me, they are very, very big. They're a little bit clumbersome. They're a little bit clumsy but these Paradigm irons, the standard ones, could be a great iron for any mid to high handicap golfer who's looking to get down through the ranks. You can see they've got a forged 455 face on there. So again, you're gonna get that element of feel. Just because you're a high handicap golfer doesn't mean you don't want that element of feel. And all the tungsten weighting and technology in here that makes each head launch just a little bit differently is pure genius. And it just means for me that you're gonna get that aspect of forgiveness, but also that aspect of control, also while looking down at something which I think looks absolutely stunning my one criticism could be of myself putting these in the mid to high handicap bracket maybe the blade length is a touch short if you're not that comfortable with a shorter blade length but that's very much what callaway have been doing it might just make you focus more nice little bit of offset on there lovely thick top line you know you've got all that technology and i've been speaking about how good all these irons feel look at that for a ball flight be good this could go in Go in, go in. Oh. Now, if that isn't good enough feedback to have these in my top five, really, really don't know what is. Now, the turf interaction was absolutely gorgeous. And you might think, James, why on earth are you just showing me a huge crater in the ground? But for a club which is so forgiving to provide you with such a good strike, such good turf interaction, and this ball flight, is absolutely astronomical. I take my hat off to Callaway for making these. They took quite a long time in designing them. The jam pack full of technology in my review is on the channel now. Make sure you go and check it out. In at number three, the Callaway Paradigm Irons. Now that's quite a bottom three, isn't it? Bottom three of the best five, but Tacomo, Shrixen and Callaway in at five, four and three. I think I got that right. What is it at number two? What's the number one? There are so many brands out there that to be honest, deserve honorable mentions. I will mention them at the end of this video. In particular, spoiler alert, the tailor-made Kalia irons aren't in here. They're gonna be in a different category for me, but they are by far the most forgiving irons on the market. Maybe not if you're trying to break into that mid handicap range. Probably same with the tailor-made Stealth HD irons, fantastic clubs, just not for the mid to high handicapper more for the high to beginner range for me. So those two aren't in, but in at number two is a club which I think this brand was in last year and all they've done is make the irons a little bit better looking. It's of course, sorry to interrupt, but can we just have a word for the control on that six iron from 170 yards with the Paradigm iron? That is some control for an iron Okay, the Pumas aren't the football boots, but that is an incredible amount of control for an iron, which let's face it, is designed for forgiveness and distance. What about number two? At number two, I have an iron, which is part of a driver range, which let's be fair, has split opinion, both of its appearance and name in 2023. I have the Cobra Aerojet irons. You see, the LTDX irons were absolutely fantastic. I got to see these firsthand in the hands of Foxy, who is the definition of a mid to high handicap golfer, depending on his day and what night shift he's been on. Foxy, I know you're watching this. But these are the new versions of them, and for me, they've just made them a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. They're still jam-packed full of technology. They've still got all that power in there. They've still got the element of a nice feel as well. And looking down at these, for me, just check out that blade length. That's going to really distill confidence in a mid to high handicap golfer. But also that look of brushed chrome and it just looks really, really simplistic. I love the white out in the bottom groove there. And then turning around to shelf appeal, you can see they do look very similar to last year's LTDX. Just some nice little colour changes and a nice big thick sole there. 
And I must admit, I was really unsure about where to put these in the top five. I knew they had to be in there. And then looking at how good the LTDX performed last year for Foxy, but you know what, all these are is a little bit better than that. So there's no way they can be anywhere but number two. And the reason why they can only be at number two is first of all, they, they don't feel quite as good as what's at number one. I mean, that was a fantastic ball flight, wasn't it? Again, we talk about turf interaction. All these brands have worked so hard in making sure that you do get that element of feel, you do get the element of forgiveness, but you also get a really enjoyable product to hit. What is number one? Guys, number one in my top five forgiving irons for 2023. Remember guys, this is my opinion. Guys, get in the comments below. What is your top five irons of 2023 so far if you are in that mid to high handicap bracket? But mine has to be a brand which, let's face it, has been at number one for quite some time for me when it comes to mid to high handicap golf. It may not be the iron that you suspect, but it's a brand we've not discussed yet. And it's a brand which for me, year in and year out, just keeps on delivering for the mid to high handicap golfer is of course, Ping. Guys, my number one forgiving irons for mid to high handicap golfers in 2023 are the Ping G430 irons. The reason being, they're just absolutely brilliant from start to finish. For me, they look so much better than the G425s. They feel better than the G425s, which is really, really important. One thing which I think Ping have failed on in the past when it comes to these irons is that element of feel. They're certainly not the best feeling irons in my top five, but as an all round package, these things perform incredibly well. You can see every ounce of technology that's in these clubs to allow you to launch that ball up in the air. They've got a lovely long blade length, a nice thick top line. I even like how they've stuck to tradition of putting the number on the toe as well. I really, really like that. Love this alignment aid on the bottom with the white groove being whited out. Again, similar to the Cobra. And in the past, I have had Ping's bigger variation, the G700 or the G710 in there. But these things that are forgiving, I don't think you need them. I always enjoyed Ping's black finish on the G700, the G710. I do wish they'd bring that maybe into the G430. Is that leaving Ping open for another set of irons? Who knows? But guys, they are definitely for me the number one. The blade length looks fantastic. I love the amount of offset on here for anyone that does miss the ball right. I mean, it's not going to suit everyone, but you basically can't hit it right. Look at that. Lovely low penetrating four iron up to the front of the green. Guys, they are my top five forgiving irons for mid to high handicap golfers. Notable exceptions, I've mentioned the TaylorMades. The P790s could well have been in here as well. The Mizuno JPX are a great club too. The PXG offerings, there's so many different clubs that could have made it in here. But for me, I'm happy with that top five. I'll go and give these a clean now because um, I'm gonna do some more videos with them. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Apart from that, I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye.